How would you feel if your house was completely emptied and everything laid out in a warehouse down to the smallest toothpick? Oh my gosh. Wow. And sort your life out, eight Kiwi families suffocating under the weight of their own possessions will put their lives into hands of decluttering experts. Do you think that we need to keep that? Not at all. Oh, Carnor's in this. I knew that. TV's Carnor Lloyd is joined by professional home organiser Natalie Jane and builder, restorer and all-round problem solver Sean Brown. They'll help the families rise to the challenge of reducing their clutter by 50% in less than a week. But it isn't always easy. Yes, please. Where did I find my <laughs> Please welcome Sean Brown! Yeah! Yeah! This is so weird and so cool. It's like my Sort Your Life Out family and my project family coming together. Yeah, little blended yeah. family. Yeah. Like a weird yeah. Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's it been like going on this journey with these families? Is it, is it, does it, has it affected you or them more than you thought it would? Oh, absolutely. Um, yeah. it's, an, it's an incredible journey. It's a... It's a massive task. These, these families, they each have a different story. They have the same problem, um, too much stuff. Mm. Um, they're screaming out for help, and it's, it's really neat understanding their story and just um, going through the journey with them, right. getting rid of that problem and setting them off on a, uh, on a new a start of their new life. Yeah, yeah, I've got to admit, the show looks absolutely amazing with all the stuff laid out in warehouses. What's the weirdest thing that you got? people to check out. Is there something? There must be. Do you want to say or should I say? Well, I spend very little time in the warehouse because, you know, I had work to do. But, <laughs> but, um, OK, yeah, that's true. Um, cat testicles? What? what? We found a... We did. We found okay. a pair. OK, but they were, like, in a jar in formaldehyde. A, a pair? A pair? Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, there was, yeah. There was I imagine them, them hanging over, like, a rear vision mirror yeah. or something. <laughs> no, but that Definitely more out there, but I think like that was very unusual. But I think we definitely came up against some of the same things time and time again, which was just busy people where stuff had gone into a cupboard or into a drawer and then just never come out again because it was yeah. too hard to make yeah. a start. Yeah. Was sure. it hard to get make people like let go of their stuff? Yeah, yeah. Actually, in tonight's episode, um, I probably maybe want to use this opportunity to just. Um, remind Sarah, who's the mother of the family tonight, that I, I love you Ooh, and um, I'm sorry. Okay. We, did, we did get into it just a little Spicy. bit over children's <laughs> shoes. Okay. Um, it's funny the things that, that become such a point of, of pain and, and something to really overcome. Mm. So, um, yeah, there were definitely some difficult moments, but I'm really proud of everyone that took part. And, Sean, you know, what's a couple of classic Kiwi mistakes that you saw out there. You know, you're, you, look, you look like the guy who'd pick up other people's mistakes. <laughs> oh, I do love that. <laughs> <laughs> um, a key one, uh, like, the most obvious one for me is um, people move into a new home, they find an empty space and they just start jamming stuff in it. And so um, the best thing you can do is actually plan a cupboard. Have a, it, it might not be a fit for purpose space. So if you actually plan it, organise it and put in there what is meant to go in there, it's just going to solve half your issues. OK. He's or, really or, good. Or not he move. Good. Or yeah. not move. <laughs> OK. Now, Sort Your Life Out begins tonight, 8.30 on 3. Looks Woo absolutely amazing. Good work, you two, and please thank Sean Brown. <laughs> I was giving you such a... I was blowing you such a passionate kiss, I just about knocked my water over. <laughs>